Hello, in this video tutorial we are going to look at how to use Crocodoc to annotate Word documents that have been turned in in an assignment. Once students have turned in their assignment, as the teacher you will go to your grades and open the gradebook. You will locate the assignment where students have turned in an assignment and here mine is called Test Word Document. And as I mouse over the title, I will get this little down arrow, and I'm going to select Speed Grader. Once I open up Speed Grader, I notice that the Word document that was submitted by the student is going to be listed right there on the page. I also notice that at the top of the page, uh, first of all, it says it's powered by Crocodoc, so it gives us some options for leaving comments. So if I click on the comment button, it's going to open up these options. Uh, first thing, uh, the strike out will only work if you're in a Firefox browser. So you'll want to make sure that if you need to use a strike out feature that you open this up originally in Firefox. So we will work our way back to the left. If I just want to add text here, I can click on text. Notice that I can change the color of the text if I want to. And I can click and I can put in text on the page where I feel like I need it to go. So if this should have said 2016 instead of 2014, maybe I want to leave that text there for the student. You could put text uh, in any form or fashion on the page. Notice there's also a highlight. You may have it where when you highlight in different colors, it tells the student different things. For instance, I can highlight here on collaboration and get the highlight on the page. The next tool we'll look at is the Draw Tool. Again, the Draw Tool al allows me to choose different colors. I have a few here to pick from. So if I select the blue and I want to circle something that I want the students to pay attention to, um, I could even write here if I want to. I could draw arrows. Uh, whatever I need to do, I have a little pen and I can put that in there. So I have my drawing uh, on the page. And last but not least, we have an option of different comments. I can have a point comment that's going to point to a particular section. I have an area comment that's going to give a comment for a particular area. And I have a text comment. And you can play around with each of those comments. I'm going to uh, show you here how to use the point comment. So when I click on point comment, uh, if I see here where it says new solutions and I want to add a comment there that says uh, possibly provide a list of the solutions. And now the students will be able to see these particular items once they log in to be able to go in and see um, the annotations that I have left for them. So you can uh, play with these different tools, see how they're going to best fit your needs as students turn in work to you. Next, I would like to show you what it's going to look like for students. So I'm going to go back up here and I'm going to go back to the course homepage. And I'm going to go to settings, where under settings I can log in under student view. And once I'm in student view, I will then go back to the assignments. I'm going to go to the assignment. And so here is my test Word doc assignment. So as the student, I'm going to go back to this assignment. And I can see that I've already submitted it because it says it does say here to resubmit assignment. So on the right hand side, I see submission details. So when I click on the submission details, it's going to pull up and it's going to show any comments that have been added. And then also here, I notice next to the Word document, it says view feedback. So when I open that up as the student, I can look through and I can see exactly what my teacher has left me. I notice that what was circled, anything that was added to the page as a student, I can see these things um, so that I would be able to go back and refine my work on my original uh, work that I had turned in and possibly turn it in uh, for even a, a better grade than I would originally have had. So if I leave out of the student view uh, and go back, then I'm back to where I began. Thank you.